Hey everybody, welcome back to Jimmy's Promo. And today we're gonna to talk about all of the settings and features that comes with the S Pen on the Galaxy Note 10 series. Now this is a very important menu here. This is a place you're able to turn on, turn off, and make a lot of changes. Now how you're able to get inside of this menu is a couple different ways. The first way is if you pull out the S Pen and then your air command pops up, just click on the settings icon. Now, if you already have your S Pen out, or maybe you turned off this setting here, uh, where error command pops up when you pull out the S Pen, just hover the S Pen over the screen, hit on the button, and it takes you right back inside of your error command, which brings you straight into these settings here. Now, if you wanna do this the long way, maybe you don't have your S Pen out and you wanted to make a couple different changes, pull down the notifications panel, click on settings icon, and in the middle of the screen here, you're gonna see where it says advanced features. Now inside of here, just click on S Pen, which is on the very top, and then now you're right back inside of this large menu. Now the first one we'll cover is Air Actions. Now I'd have to say that this press and hold button that brings up an application was one that was there from before, uh, but when it comes down to all the rest of all the different settings and features in terms of the Air Actions, which is all of the Air Gestures, this is all brand new to the Galaxy Note 10, and I'd have to say it's one of those that's not really used that often. I've used it a few times in the camera and the gallery, that, but that was pretty much about it. So let's first talk about this first setting inside of here. This is what happens when you press and hold on the S Pen button. So by default, it's set up for the camera. So anytime I press and hold on the S Pen button, uh, this thing does not have to be pointed at the phone. You just have to be within range of you know 30 feet press and hold and it opens up the camera. And then you can do multiple things inside of this application, such as when you hit on the S Pen button, it'll take a picture. If you double press the S Pen button, it'll flip around the camera. Uh, you can even do things where if you could do the, the gestures, and so this way I can zoom out. If I wanna zoom in, I just hold it the other way and I keep on pressing on the button and I just leave it there all the way until I basically let go. Now, this is really the only time I would see basically the, the air gestures being used is gonna be inside of the camera. Really, that's the only time I've used it. It's one of those uh, features that is really overlooking. But inside of here, let's go back inside of the press and hold down. I take a lot of notes, so I put it as Samsung notes. Down here, you can check out uh, each individual application with your air gestures. So right here, it mentions you can take a picture switches the camera which i showed you uh, gestures you can switch it by doing uh, a little swipe up or swipe down again while pressing holding on the button next mode previous mode zoom in zoom out which you guys also saw that as well when you go inside of gallery uh, if you swipe up you got details details next item previous item do nothing and the cool thing is that anything that's in blue you can change so if i tap there uh, if i hit the button once by pressing this button it'll do any of these things here, those options uh, right over here if I choose any of these four. Uh, so really you can change anything that's in the blue uh, and it works with all of these applications here. And then below this is just gonna be general controls. This is just general controls of what happens uh, if you're doing it inside of an application that is not listed here. So there is other applications that's not listed that will work with all these different gestures, uh, but they're all gonna be kind of generic and looking like this. Now that we're done with the Air Actions, now we're gonna talk about the S Pen Unlock. So this is one of those really cool features where let's say that you're using your cell phone, uh, you set your S Pen down, you just hit on okay, you're gonna use that feature. So you set your S Pen down, you went to the bathroom, you went to go get some popcorn, maybe your child is playing with their phone, they're coloring, they're doing something, uh, and then it times out. Now it doesn't work if you hit on the, the power button, that means that you're basically putting your phone into a lock screen. So now that it's sitting on this little black screen, it timed out, all you would have to do is just hit on the S Pen button once and it's going to unlock the phone for you. Uh, it's almost kind of like consider it as the smart unlock. It's like it's connected to a Bluetooth headset where anytime it's connected, it's going to unlock your phone. That's kind of what the S Pen unlock is. So I find this one to be very super helpful uh, because there's a lot of times that I do use my cell phone. I walk away and when I come back, I just want to hit on the S Pen button and I'm good to go. So I'm going to change my screen brightness or the timeout back to uh, 15 minutes. Let's head back inside of the settings. And now we're gonna move down to the screen off memo. So screen off memo is one of those really nice main selling points of this phone, I think, because when your phone is in its normal state, just sitting like this, maybe it's in a purse, it's in a pocket, uh, you pick up your phone and you wanna just jot something down. So something came to, came to mind, maybe a shopping list. You're like, okay, let's see here. I do need to get, um, let's get some milk, let's get eggs. Uh, 
and let's buy some water, why not? Well, inside of this one here, you are also able to scroll down. So maybe you're jotting something, uh, maybe it's a poem, maybe it's just uh, something creative and you wanna get it off your chest and, and you know you don't wanna unlock your phone and go through and try to find applications, do all that stuff. Pull out the S Pen and you can start jotting down everything you need. You can also change the thickness of your pen. You can change the color of your pen. Uh, you can go through and you can delete some things. You have multiple pages. Uh, honestly, it's gonna be countless. You're not gonna use all the pages that it comes with you when you keep on hitting the down arrow uh, you can pin this one to your always on display so this way if it is a shopping list every time you look at your phone uh, and you're looking at the always on display you're going to see this little note uh, and then you can also save this one inside of your little Samsung notes. Now we're gonna head down over inside of Air View. So this is one that's also sometimes forgotten. Maybe you'll notice it when you accidentally scroll down on a page or if you hover over uh, an image or your calendar. Uh, if somebody sends you a link, you can highlight or just hover over the link and it will show you a small preview. So as example, let's say that we move back a page. Uh, you know, this is a page that does scroll down. So if I just hover my S Pen over, you can see that little white arrow. Uh, it was able to scroll down for me. So let's show just another little thing it does inside of the calendar. Let's say that you hover over there. It's going to really just kind of expand what is being shown. Um, and so if you hover there, it's gonna show uh, Jumanji movie and a whole bunch of other stuff. Let's say that we go inside of the gallery. Uh, and if we just hover over an image, so let's say that we do this right here, it's gonna hover over that one, it's gonna make it larger, hover there, it's gonna make it larger, hover here, gonna make it larger. So it's a way that you're able to see, you know, see things. And right off the bat, you can hit on share or delete. So let's say that there's an image that you don't really need. Uh, I'm gonna hit on delete and then it's going to delete it and put it inside of the trash. If this is something I wanna share without actually going inside of the image, I can hit on share and then it's able to share it off to really anybody and everybody. So heading back over inside of the settings here, we talked about the air view. Now let's talk about showing of the pointer. So really it's just that little white dot you see on the screen. Right now it's not there. Uh, and then now it is. This is one of the things I just say you might as well keep on. I think if you turn it off, it might save a little bit of battery, but not much at all. It's going to be so minimal. You're not going to see a difference, but I would say keep the uh, show pointer on. Now with this one here, you can allow multiple S Pens. So this one will really see in handy when your S Pen is actually inside your phone. So because the S Pen is out, it's gonna pick up any digital pen. I mean, this is my favorite pen here that I like to use that is not a Samsung you know, S Pen. This is the Stedler digital pen. I can place a link for this below the video inside the description if you're interested. But really the multiple S Pens is gonna come in handy when you keep your S Pen inside of the phone uh, and you wanted to use something else. Maybe this is sitting at your office, you pick it up and then now you're able to go through uh, and you're able to use this. The only thing is that there is no button on here. I really hope that maybe Stedler can update this, put a little button there so we can have all of the rest of the features back. But I do also want to mention that when you are using the multiple S pens, it will be taking down and draining your battery uh, because it's going to always be ready for a digital pen to have, you know, hover and highlight and, and be used with the screen. So if you don't have you know, a Stedler you know, digital S Pen, or if you don't have any other multiple S Pens lying around your house, uh, I would suggest keeping this off to save you a little bit of battery. Now we're gonna head down to Air Command. So this one's gonna be a pretty big one here. So these are all the different shortcuts that pops up on Air Command when you hit on your S Pen button or when you pull out the S Pen itself. If there's any of these that you don't really use, so let's say that you don't use Magnify and you don't use Write on Calendar, you can take those off. And then you can go through here and you can add in any other application uh, that you use quite often. So uh, let's say that you always use, you know, your internet browser, you can put it there if you want to. You can put Credit Karma over here. Uh, you can put in DFIT over here. It's a it's an app that, that will lie that you're running when you're really not. Um, but other than that, let's say that we're gonna move, I'm gonna move these right back over here. Um, also too, on the very side, uh, over here, you'd be able to press and hold and you can change the order of how these show up. So if there's a lot of these that maybe you wanna keep there but you might not use right now, you can put them towards the bottom and then your main big ones, you can actually put towards the top. Now I'd have to say that I use these ones up here all the time just to be completely honest. So these are gonna be my first four. You can also hit on that little, uh, little dash there to get rid of the application on the side. Now this is just talking about the show of the floating icon. So when you actually, you see this little icon here of the air command. Uh, if you turn that off, it's just not going to be there. And then you just hit on the S Pen button for it to pop back up. But it's sitting there. So this way I can just tap on it 
and I can just simply use it. You can move this little floating icon really anywhere you want to, and then it's gonna pull up your little air command. You can also get rid of it up here if you want to remove it off your screen, but this is the little icon that you can either turn it on or turn it off. Now you also have this setting here for the open air command with S Pen button. And so that's what we were doing multiple times here. So if you don't want this to happen here where you hit on the S Pen button, uh, then you can actually turn that off, which I don't know why uh, I find it to be very helpful. That's actually how I get into air command because through my settings here on the very next setting, you can see that when I pull out the S Pen, it does nothing. Uh, by stock, I believe it is set up for open air command. So every time you pull out the S Pen, the air command will open up. You can even do create notes. So if you're somebody who creates a lot of notes, uh, you can create it to where uh, when you pull out the S Pen, open of the creating of a note pops up right away. But mine's set up for do nothing because sometimes I pull out the S Pen and I just scroll. I don't really do anything with it uh, other than scrolling. Now this one here is called Pen Proximity Alert. All this one really does is it alerts you when you're not putting your S Pen in the phone and it'll alert you when you start walking. So if the screen times out, if you hit the power button, if you're holding it, if it's in a purse, if it's in your pocket, if it does not detect the S Pen inside of there, which it shows you right there, the S Pen is out. It's going to give you a little alert sound and letting you know that it was last detached at a time and, and date and everything else. So then this way you don't forget it if you're walking and you don't want to leave your S Pen behind. Now you also have different feedback for sound and vibration. So if you want that little sound that pops out when uh, when you put it out and put it back in, same thing with a little vibration. If you put in the S Pen, take it out and you don't really care for sound or vibration, you're able to turn both of these off. And then on the very bottom right over here underneath general, you can actually learn more about the S Pen feature. So towards the top or in the middle for the, the shortcuts of all these different applications that are really dealing with the S Pen, if you wanted to learn more of what all of those does, when you go to the very bottom and you can hit on learn about S Pen features, you can actually click on magnify and you can really kind of learn anything about all of these. So it's a small little tutorial letting you know that you can hover the S Pen over certain areas. It'll magnify things. You got Bixby vision, so you can learn about this as well too. When you hover your S Pen over th items and things, you can you know bring it to your gallery. You can um, get the text from it. You can also go through shopping right over here uh, and then also check out a QR code. So uh, there's a lot of things that you're able to do with the S Pen for the Galaxy Note 10 series. I hope that this video has helped you guys out. If it did, please give this thing a huge thumbs up. Don't forget to hit on subscribe. Subscribe right over here in the very bottom left hand side. And if you like this video, then more than likely you'll also like this video. And I'll see you guys later.